Hi guys and welcome to Crafting with Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make shadow boxes. So these are like 3D shadow boxes. You can use them as picture frames as you'll see me demonstrate with this one or you could use them as presentation for your card. So this is a card front that I stuck inside this one. I'm going to show you how to make a stand for it and it's going to be great. Let's make it. Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to make shadow boxes and they're and how to work out making a shadow box any size so this is crafting with crystal and i'm a card maker so the shadow boxes i'm gonna make first are four and a quarter by five and a half which are a two size shadow boxes for persons who may want to create a shadow box for a card that they have so if you look at this there's full and there's inside full means you want the entire shadow box to measure whatever measurements you want it to measure. So for a full four and a quarter by five and a half shadow box, you have to add four inches and then I will show you how to create it. And this is the size of the paper you're going to need. Eight and a quarter by nine and a half. If you want just the inside of the shadow box to be an A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, you have to add five inches and not just four inches. So let me show you exactly what I mean on my um, scoring board while making these and you'll see. Check it out. Let's go. So the first one I'm going to make is the full one. That's the one where the entire size of the shadow box is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I want you to take your piece of paper that's nine and a half by eight and one quarter and score it every half inch four times. So you're scoring at half, one, two, one and a half, sorry, and two. <laughs> That's funny. Right? And then you're going to turn it and score again. Half, one, one and a half, and two. So your paper should look nice and fancy like this <laughs> and uh, you might see the score lines a little better this way and now what I want you to do is take your paper like this and find two and a half and score down just two right score down two so you score an inch so score an additional inch down two to the second score line and then you're going to work out this is a quarter so the additional half inch will be three quarter second score line so it looks like this now what i want you to do is fold and burnish on all score lines and i'm going to go ahead and do this so i folded and burnished on all my score lines and now we're going to cut so Remember those two additional score marks we made at the top and bottom? Right. So this is how you're going to cut this. You're going to cut down here, down to that score line. Then you're going to cut a diagonal on the diagonal to this score line. On this score line, straight up. Then you're going to cut this one and this one so it should look like this let me show you that one more time you're gonna cut on this score line that you made the little half score line there to the, the second score line then you're gonna put your scissors in if you put your scissors in and line up your scissors here once you cut it should cut straight because the scissors is straight if you don't feel confident that you can do that you can simply draw a line and cut on the line but I've been cutting forever, so I've pretty much gotten how to cut. All right. See? So now it looks like this. So these two pieces are open like this. And I'm going to continue making this. So that's it for this. See, I just want to show you how it looks. It should look like this. Now let's do this. So um, you're going to put glue 
on these pieces and this is really to make it look authentic like it's a real like it's a real square and then you're gonna line it up with this and stick it onto here like so making sure it's very square and I'm gonna do this for all four pieces put some glue on this turn it in line it up straight with this one and stick it down and do it for the other two sides so we've got an actual box shape now so it looks like this now what I want you to do is fold this in here put some glue here and fold fold touch this to the bottom part there and then press down we're going to do that on the other side so you're putting glue on this section here and then touching this corner to all the way in like this and then pressing it down for it to glue see so let's do that let me show you close up I need to make sure I'm in frame here right and then I'm sticking it down like this all the way down to the corner and then for it to actually be glued all the way down all the time making sure it stays pushed in right so it stays square basically all right we're going to do the same for the side so I'm going to put some glue here and I'm going to put the tiniest dot of glue here right because I see a lot of um I saw a couple of tutorials where no one put glue there and it looked like there was a space fold it in and then press down here here and here to really get that frame done well look at that frame my gosh and let's do the other side this is your frame for your shadow box it's an a2 size let's measure it and see if you were right with all wonderful measurement instruction here this should be four and a quarter exactly by five and a half exactly five and a half so this will fit a gorgeous frame for an, an A2 size card really well and let me show you how to make it into an actual card so I have my piece of paper that is five and five eighths by nine and one eighth and the reason why you're adding a one eighth to each of the measurements for that A2 is because of the bulkiness of the actual shadow box um, normally you'll cut paper flat but when you have to fold paper sometimes it adds to the bulk of it I'm gonna score at four and a quarter then I'm gonna bring this paper down to the nine and score at four and three quarters I'm gonna fold and burnish on both score lines and now we should be able to paste this shadow box inside here perfectly and have it covered see that so it's a perfect card you open and there's your card shadow box so then you could decorate in here you could put florals in here like say if you make a whole bunch of flowers like this you could stick them all over the side there now i've done another one to show you exactly like this one except the inside is four and a quarter by five and a half so this one measured nine and a quarter by ten and a half before I made it so you could either make the inside so this could fit into this one that is so cute oh my god look I didn't even think of this you could do a double shadow box <laughs> that's how perfect this is and now I can just pull this out of here right so you can make a double shadow box which looks so amazing look how I just found that out I didn't even think of doing this on the video <laughs> that is so cool so you can make a double shadow box look how we could raise this one up and make it look really nice in 3d and what you can do is you can put a picture inside your shadow box i'm gonna cut down this picture of me and my hubby
right? So this is not going to stand on its own. You see it's going to drop. Because it wouldn't stand for itself, we're going to make a stand for it, which is really cool. This is two and a half by 11. We're going to score it at four, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let me make a stand for this one. One time, this is now two and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score this one at three, six, seven, and eight. All we need to do now is fold. So you're going to fold one in like this. This is the bigger one, right? Then you're going to fold this back. down and then back again I'm going to score, score this one the same way so you're going to score down and now I'm going to stick these two together like so so you're putting glue here and you're folding this and closing it All right. so now we have our two stands for our two cards this is just so big for this. So we made a little cute one for it. Look at that. Oh my God. Right? Where you joined it, you're going to stick it so that this one will be seamless. So I'm going to put glue all over the back here. So now, instead of falling down, you're going to open this like so. And then it's going to stand. How cute is that? <laughs> right? right and then this we'll have it like this you open it and it wouldn't fall down so one is a picture frame shadow box and one is a shadow box for artwork like this will be for somebody's birthday thanks so much for joining me while we made these so i made this one completely on the fly i had this picture hung up in my craft room and I was going to show you just how to make a shadow box and I was like well it'll be kind of cute if we do this and it totally worked and this one is so perfect and as I showed you this one fits into this one almost perfectly to make a double picture frame the cuteness <laughs> Overload. Okay, so with regard to these, don't forget whatever size you want your shadow box, you just have to add. So if you want a three by three shadow box, you just have to add four on each side. So the piece of paper you have to use for that shadow box will be seven by seven. Get it? If you want a three by three shadow box, and you want the inside of the box to be three by three, you add five. So you cut a piece of paper that's eight by eight. Score it the same way I showed you and you got it. If you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any content and stay crafty my friends.